Adam, your new show is a smash hit. Just look at these statistics. Wow, I had no idea the show would do that well. Well, whatever you're doing, keep it up. Oh, hi guys. Thanks for helping to make the Adam show a huge success. Are you ready for more fun? See you soon. And now, it's the Adam show, starring everybody's favorite bunny, Adam, featuring Kevin Bunnybanks and the Hopalong Funk Band. And now, here's Adam. Hi everybody. Welcome to the Adam show. I was wondering how many people watch the Olympics? Well, in honor of our great athletes, we just wanted to extend our thanks with a short presentation. Kevin? Let's give Kevin Bunny Banks and the Hopalong Funk Band a round of applause! Tonight, we're doing things a little bit different because we have a multi-guest show tonight. Yo, Adam, what does that mean? It means we have three, count them, three awesome animators from the Go Anime community. Hollywood3514, PT Almighty, and Tweak2. Now, before we bring them on, let's have our announcer give the Go Animate Tip of the Week. Adam, this week's tip is background music. Music adds mood to your animations, whether it's action, drama, or anything in between. Try watching other movies on TV or on the web for ideas. Be very careful not to have your music too loud, because it might overpower your character's speaking parts or dialogue. Finally, Try to keep a good balance between your music and your animation. Back to you, Adam. As always, have fun with your animations. Right, Kevin? Amen, bro. <laughs> well, here's the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's welcome Hollywood 3514, PT Almighty, and Tweet 2 to the show. First of all, I want to say, welcome to the show, everybody. Hey, Adam, what's going on? Hey, before we get started, I just got to say, I'm a huge fan, man. It's been fun being part of the Go Animate community, and uh, I hope I can see or talk to uh, the rest of you online. Thank you for having me. This is so awesome. Three animators on one show. Twig 2, let's start with you. Thanks, Adam. I'm glad to be here. You've been a member of Go Animate since November of 2011. What do you think your strong points are when it comes to animating? I've watched quite a couple of anime um, cartoons and films, so I've, I think I've picked up quite a lot of camera angles and scene settings. So I think that's one of my strong points, setting the scene, getting effects, and getting the best angle for the animations and movies. You have an animation called My Neighbor Rukia, Parts 1 and 2, and you received at least 49 recommendations for both animations combined. Are you working on anything new right now? Although it was very fun to use the anime theme, I haven't got any plans to use it again yet, although I really do want to. Um, but I've got the third episode of Kamigami in the works, which is set in feudal Japan. Uh, and I'm also working on a new series called Spies, which is a spy organization. Um, so hopefully you'll see that in the near future. Tell me, what kind of things inspire you to make movies? I'm usually inspired by an idea that just pops into my head. Like with the Kamigami series, after Ellis's en environmental contest, I just, the feeling of sort of greenery and stuff just sort of got me thinking and I came up with the idea of the whole Kamigami. Um, but otherwise it's just like ideas like I have I have this idea at the moment of a pixel explosion using box props but I haven't quite worked out how to make that work at the moment. But 
but just I sort of think of an idea and it just sort of inspires me to keep going on the idea until it's a proper animation like some of you some of the ones I've made. I noticed you have a staff pick badge. Would you mind telling the audience which animations earn you that badge? The animation is called the Do My Thing music video. I had released it quite a while ago and it took three weeks for anything to really happen. Now I saw a forum thread by a user called Beskin for a music video contest and I decided to enter and then the next day I got a staff pick which surprised me very much. Tweak 2, I have one more question for you. Do you have any plans on upgrading to Go Plus in the near future? Go Plus features do look very good with extended video length and the ninja anime theme and the chibi peeps theme. But I'm not, no plans yet to get Go Plus. Maybe later, maybe if they have PayPal methods, but at the moment I'm sticking to a basic user. PT Almighty, now it's your turn. One thing about you I've noticed, you have great acting skills, and it shows through in your animations. Have you thought about pursuing an acting career? <laughs> First, I'd like to say thank you. I'm humbled by your compliment on my acting skills. Um, would I pursue a career in acting? I don't see why not. I acted all throughout high school, part of the drama and TV production programs there, classes, programs, and I was pretty darn good at it. I mean, I participated in the drama district competition for Florida and got a superior and was uh, able to go to state competition for theatrical performance in Tampa, Florida. So I kind of know what I'm doing. I got a superior there at uh, Tampa. Yeah, like I said, when I was going to be humble, I lied. <laughs> I lied. I'm actually probably going to talk your uh, ears off. But before I pursue an acting career, I'm probably... Well, not probably. Most likely. I'm uh, majoring in film in UCF, so I'm going to become a director. And then, after I become a successful director, then that's when I'm going to pursue my acting career. A lot of your work displays your personality. Out of all the animations you've done, which one reflects your personality the most, and why? <laughs> that's a hard question. Which animation displays my personality the most? For one thing, I think you're trying to get inside my head. Stay out of my head! No, just kidding. Actually, that's probably a good question. You can tell a lot from a person by the art they create. And actually, I think it'd be a mixture of all my animations that I've made that would be a picture of my personality. Because you could actually look into the mind by the things that people make. But if I were to say which one displays my personality the most, uh, I'd have to go through to like the girl trek probably would display a lot of my philosophies but not really if you think a lot on it but then daylight would probably be my personality you know lots of hope and stuff aspirations PT I didn't bother to check but did you get a stat pick for your video called Goofy Goober in my opinion it was your greatest work to date I need to know why did you make that video? Were you trying to show your wild side, or what? First, I'd like to say, though Goofy Goober got over 15,000 views, it did not get a staff pick. It was my video last Friday night that got a staff pick. My last Friday night spoof is the video that got the staff pick. Though Goofy Goober was awesome, a staff just didn't recommend it, so it didn't get a staff pick. Which does, it's okay with me, it didn't need one, it was awesome. I'd like to say thank you for calling it my greatest work to date. And why did I create that video? Actually, I created that video that uses only props because I wanted to make a props only video to get the prop badge. I wanted the prop badge, that's why I made it, created the video. Um, I didn't think it showed a wild side, it was a pretty wild song, we're talking about Spongebob here, and I think I successfully did Spongebob justice, because that song was funny on the Spongebob Squarepants movie, and it was also funny. I think it's the funniest Go Animate video ever made. And ironically, Goofy Goober never even got the props badge, because I used backgrounds in it, which I didn't even know I didn't supposed to use. And then my video I made after it, 
uh, the Spongebob Best Day Ever video is actually the one who got the Pop Props badge. So, <laughs> ironic. P.T. or Precious, how did your family feel about your accomplishments here at GoAnimate? I'm sure they gave you tremendous support. How does my family feel? Well, uh... <laughs> I started do it. <laughs> I started here on GoAnimate during the summer just because I was bored. Uh, you know, my brother, you know, would would help me. By the way, don't watch my first video because that has a lot of cussing in it from typing in the thing when I first found GoAnimate. But anyways, uh, like my brother like likes my videos, so does my cousin. And uh my older sister like Goofy Goober. Everyone liked Goofy Goober. That one was liked by everyone, you know. But uh, like my cousin and my littlest cousin and uh, my brother all like Girl Trek. I did that, and, you know. I showed it to them, blah blah blah. And uh, they they helped me. They like that I make animations. I make lots of things, quite frankly, not just animations. So they're kind of used to me making things. My favorite series from you is Girl Trek. I don't know what it is that makes it so appealing, but I love it. Do you plan to keep that going in the future? <laughs> Thank you. Girl Trek is quite something. Um, I think what makes it appealing is that it's something different. <laughs> it's Star Trek and basically uh, how I first came up with it is like I first saw the Star Trek thing that you had the uh, Star Trek theme and so I'm like oh I'm gonna make one with all the girls on Star Trek so I named it Girl Trek and I actually <laughs> wasn't gonna make it a series or anything at first if you watch the first episode it's kind of funny and it's like different than all the other episodes it turns into some type of drama type action series and I actually brought some serious topics into it you know basically the male species and the female species and they're at war and so humor but then it becomes like seriousness and so, like the new season is basically going to be about how power corrupts and such the first season was basically about uh female empowerment sort of last but not least my man hollywood now i noticed that all your movies have original voices and no tts do you think that original voices can add to the success of an animation? Well, yeah, Adam, I do. But in a roundabout way. See, I feel when you voice act, it adds individuality to your video. It adds your personality to your video. And in turn, it will give you more confidence in making your videos. You see what I'm saying? And once you get the confidence about making a video once you believe that you can make a video about anything and it's good then that's when your success comes in and believe me all of you out there who's listening right now can make an animation about anything it's just a matter of building up your confidence to do it and believing in yourself and to have fun it looks like you have a new western series now and it's doing very well it's the only true western series I've seen here What's your inspiration for making Wanted? That's real easy, Adam. Enjoying life and soul. You see, me and Ellis had a couple of conversations where he mentioned that he's never seen really a Western on Go Anime before. And I've seen one, but it was like a skit. It wasn't a series. So I figured I'd give it a try. And luckily it came out all right. Hollywood, out of all the animations I've seen from you, my personal favorite is The Hill. Do you plan on using those characters more in the future? Yes, absolutely yes. I mean, if you look at my latest video, Wanted Part 2, they had a cameo in there. I mean, think about it. Every time when you leave your house, or even when some people, when they're in their house, you look down and you see an insect. I mean, it's easy. You can incorporate them into anything. I can incorporate them into any animation, that's going on at any time. Insects are around us all the time. So, they'll be around us all the time. I know you always have something up your sleeve. Can you tell the audience about anything new? Yeah, I got some stuff I'm working on. And you know, since I'm not one of them animators that keeps secrets, you know, 
I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Now, since this is the Olympic season, what I was thinking about, okay, you remember back in the days when we were kids, they had the Laugh Olympics, where they had the Yogi Bears against the Scooby-Doo's and the Really Rottens. Okay, I wanna do something like that, but I wanna use all my insect characters from the hill against all my horse ER characters and all my other characters, my regular characters, you know, Disco, Jay, and Tony, and all those guys, and just put them all against each other in like a big Olympics, you know, so that's something I'm working on. I started it, I don't know exactly how long it's going to take, but you guys be looking out for that one, that one's going to be pretty funny too, a lot of stuff's going to be funny in that one. Just out of curiosity, have you ever considered upgrading your account? When it looks of it, you're ready for the next level, any plans for that? Yeah, Adam. I think about it all the time. But my problem is, I don't necessarily know how to market myself at a business level. You know? I mean, I need to network more with the animators who has a, a business account and see exactly where I can fit in, you know? Because I know I can make the animation, but that's also me just letting my imagination run away with me. You know what I'm saying? That's easy to do. But would I be able to sit down with somebody and, they, and they, they're they telling me I want you to make an animation about this like this and just that you know I don't know if I can do that and still have fun you, you see what I'm saying so once I figure out where to market myself and exactly how to do it by all means yeah I'll switch up to a business account but for now I mean I'm really still just having fun with it you know well it was awesome having all three of you here today. Let's give these guys a round of applause. For more information on these three animators, check out these three links. Give them all the support you can. That's all the time we have for tonight's show. Kevin, take us home, dude. Tonight's show has been brought to you by Brickwood Mutual Trust. Brickwood, the only name you can trust. Good night.